book surveys the creative culture of South Africa and beyond and is published by the KT Wong Foundation in conjunction with Wallpaper Magazine. This is, we feel like a stepping stone, really the, the first platform to discovering a whole new world, a whole new continent of you know, great uh, creativity in the arts, in, in writing, in plays, uh, of course in the visual arts, but also films, um, you know, certainly even in the, uh, in the opera. The book also features architect Thomas Heatherwick's Zeitzmacher work. The challenge there was there wasn't any public space available. The powerful thing with this project was there wasn't a place. There were incredible artists, phenomenal work that's been made, and private galleries, but not a public place, a public uh, vessel to, for the work to see itself. The old silos presented many challenges and opportunities. It didn't have big spaces. The spaces were in the wrong direction. The spaces were this direction, and you need spaces in that direction. So when you carve that into that, something interesting happens. The opening of the museum is seen as the start of a new era for African art and artists. There's always a point, you know, in what they're trying to do, and with the young, particularly today, the younger generation, the millennial Africans, so to speak, who are exposed to so much of the world, so they're absorbing it all, and they're you know, bringing it out in their own way. And finding a place to display that expression is essential. It's about a kind of ecosystem that's growing and evolving. So that's meaningful for Cape Town, that's meaningful for South Africa, and is, and is a momentum starting to build up for a, a continent. The launch of the museum, the book, and various galleries and venues around the country is good news for art and artists. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Johannesburg, South Africa.